been six weeks since what Mexico calls its worst environmental disaster in recent history. 40,000 cubic meters of copper sulfate acid spilled from a copper mine into a stream. CCTV's John Holman has been on this story for days. He has the latest on residents worried about long-lasting damage. These are the Garcia family's cornfields in northern Mexico. They need the river Sonora to irrigate them. But in the last few weeks, the river has poisoned their crops instead. We're not going to be able to sell our corn. No one is going to buy it because it's contaminated. I'm not going to eat it, and I can't give it to the cows because the milk will be contaminated. The local economy here has been lost. 40 million liters of sulfuric acid leaked from the Buena Vista copper mine into local rivers in the first week of August. The Mexican environmental minister called it the country's worst environmental disaster in recent history. Almost everyone in the contaminated area uses water, whether that's to irrigate their crops or to give to their cattle. And this spill has affected almost 7,000 farmers. This is what happened to Oscar after he touched polluted water. 19 people have been seriously affected. My car got stuck in the river. I put my arm in the water, and then this rash came. Now, government and Grupo Mexico water trucks are getting to villages, some of the time. Authorities have also forced the mining giant to set up a trust fund of $150 million for those affected. But just as the cleanup operation made headway, Rain from Hurricane Odile last week caused more reservoirs in the same mine to overflow. Sonoran state authorities have said a river running to the U.S. is probably contaminated. Grupo Mexico and federal government officials deny that. Uh, we have been monitoring the, the water in that river to be sure that no pollutants are discharged to this current. And you haven't found any pollutants? We haven't found any pollutants. As authorities debate the scale of the disaster, the farmers we talked to say they still haven't been told how contaminated their crops are. We're demanding that they show us the results of the studies. We want the authorities to come here and tell us what's going on, not in meetings behind closed doors in the state capitol. It's their livelihood and the land they've lived on for generations which is at risk. John Holman, CCTV, Sonora.